So hey guys, I want to welcome you back to my channel. If you guys are new here, thank you for watching. I know um, I haven't really been posting any DIY videos, but as you guys know, with all the stuff that's going on with the oh, COVID-19 virus, everybody's supposed to be quarantined unless you're an essential worker. Unfortunately, I've been going now because I do have some other children in my house. I do have um, my mom who has a lot of health conditions, so I avoid the streets. Um, that's why I haven't posted anything, but with um, the whole COVID-19 going out, I thought it would be a good time to show you guys how to make face masks. Now remember, these cloth masks don't have a lot of protection, actually, but um, the CDC has come out um, as of yesterday um, and said that they do recommend that if you're out in public, that you do cover using a cloth mask. Now, the reason why they're saying cloth masks is, as you know, we have a very, very shortage in surgical masks. These are the surgical masks. These are the ones we use in the hospital, um, the clinics. These are the ones that the healthcare workers use. So, in order for these to remain for the people who are um, actually in the front line, who are dealing with this virus daily, they are recommending. Um, now, they didn't state this, but I'm sure that is the reason why. They are recommending for people to use cloth masks if you're just going out um, in, you know, like doing groceries. And just make sure you guys are washing your hands. The best way to be this standing about six feet in distance from other people. Avoid crowded areas. If it's not necessary for you guys to go out, please do not. So let's get started with this video. So this is the surgical mask, like I told you guys. And as you see, um, it has two strings in the cloth, okay? So, um, I got from the Dollar Tree these um, foot cloth, um, and I have some pipe wires or gear wires or gear pipes or whatever you want to call them. I also want to show you guys, in case you guys can find, because they're saying to do this with a bandana, I wasn't able to find a bandana or anything. You also need um, uh, elastic bands. These are like the ones, like the little ponies that the ladies use. And now, I'm going to be trying something new. I found these baby bits. And we're going to try something out with these baby bits. If you don't really need to measure, you can do this at the eye. Um, remember, the more we cover cloth, it's going to be hard for you guys to keep track of it. Unless you want to place something on the front to distinguish what's the front and what's the back. But um, that's why usually they're doubled. They're double layered. See? Or we can do something like this. You can make a long one on the top and a short one on the bottom so you can see the difference. But double is better because you have more protection. Okay, so let's get started. So once you have cut your, once you have cut your, your cloth, you're gonna use some of these little bands and we're gonna place them on the, on the side part of it, okay? And then we kind of just clean it out and we're gonna do the same on the other side. Now, if you have an old towel or maybe an old t-shirt that you're not going to use, you no longer use, if you guys can't find the rubber bands, you can do that also. Remember, like I said, guys, I'm only doing this with hot glue for the video purposes. Please, so this is going to be much easier and when you wash it, it'll last longer. So.
So guys, um, as you can see, I made different style of masks. I showed you guys different ways to make them. Make sure you guys are staying safe, washing your hands. If you don't need to go outside, please don't do so. Take care.